Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing the game Laurent Fresenet versus Magnus Carlsen. Laurent Fresenet has the white pieces and Magnus Carlsen has the black pieces. The game was played in October 31, 2006, and the tournament's name was called Captiac. That's also there that the game was played, and it's round two. So, first we have E4, and it's a um, delayed alpin. So, a delayed alpin is basically when you play the alpin delayed. And the alpin defense is where you play C3. Then, black should either play knight here, or black should play pawn here. If black plays pawn here, then we take and then the, and then we go here and then here and then that's how and then you have an isolated pawn but everything's okay and then if knight here then we have, then you have there the knight moves and you go there and it's pretty actually the trade does not have to happen but yeah this is the position that should come out of it after d6 and um, c3, they continue to happen. Now you might ask the question, why hasn't, why didn't white, sorry, black take the pawn? Why didn't black just take the pawn? Well, the reason is because after this there's d4, and then after takes and takes, then you have then you have a um, major lead in developing. As you can see, you've already castled. And then this position, it's really easy to continue playing. And it's um, and this is the reason this is not played. White oh, has a major developing lead. Okay. So after here, a bishop to b5 check was played, and they traded bishop. Now, the reason he did not take with this knight is because, as you see in the game, <coughs> as you see in the game, the, um, there's um, castles, rookie one, and then black plays knight to e5, 6. Knight to c6. Then white attacks the knight, and then see here, black takes, and then see now he has both knights, so he's going to be able to put, replace another knight with another knight if the knight takes. So f4 was played, putting the knight out of the center. The knight goes back, knight to d2, and knight to f3. This, this also shows the purpose that in the Alabin defense, you're either going to push the pawn or you're either going to play knight to d2. And then as you see, he plays knight here. Queen to b6, queen to e2, queen to b7, rook to d1, and rook to e8. So... The reason he did not use this other rook is because maybe in the future, if you just leave this rook as it is, if you just leave the rook as it, oh, sorry. if you just leave the rook as it is, you might, you're going to have the way you can might play e5, of course, but you are at the same time also, like, let's just say he plays a random move, you might play e5. But you also might play f5. There's no different. Um, so, yeah. So after. So, um, yeah, that's the reason this was played. Oh, sorry. Okay, so f5, um, put getting, gaining space. And then he plays knight to d4. The knight looks really good because it has an amazing score, but as we see later, black also gained an amazing score. And then after this, he 
gets a rook, okay? Then he takes the pawn and sacrifices his rook for it. Because this knight is really powerful. You could say it's pretty much worth more than this rook. So after this, black takes on b7, and white moves, and then in this position, black opens king. Now, there's no danger in opening the king, because as you can see, you're not going to play bishop there, and then the person's not going to play a move like this and get mated. That's just not going to happen. So, that's why the, the king's not in danger, in the position, and then queen to d7, and then e d4. The reason for the move d4 is to block the bishop from coming here, and also it's to also just defend the pawn. So, a6, bishop to b8. Now, the reason for bishop to b8 is she's pro um, he's probably going to move the queen, and then he wants to make sure this pawn is guarded, because if it's not, the pawn has a pretty good, decent chance of promoting. So, after queen there, queen e6. See, the queen moved, and now the pawn's guarded, though. Queen to e5. And then, in this position, he tacked mate and then stay there and then the simple rook to e3 and right resign the game now imagine you play there it's just simple check there and checkmate and then you basically have nothing else if you also if you play um also if you play queen here you have many different things. You can even just go check. Then he'll go there, you go check, he goes there. And it's just winning in many different ways. So that's why white was that. So this game ended and Matt Wisconsin won it. And yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye. And thank you.